People who follow Christianity are called Christians. People who follow Judaism are called Jews. People who follow Buddhism are called Buddhists. So people who follow Islam must be called Islamists or Islamians? No, that doesn't sound quite right. Of course, the correct name for people who follow Islam is Muslims. You know, when I studied religion in school, I remember there being kids who were surprised that Muslim and Islam were the same thing. Kids knew the names but didn't know they were related. Now that I think about it, I think I may have fallen into this category once in my childhood too. While people might see this as kids being dumb, in all honesty I think it's a pretty easy misconception for kids to have if they weren't educated on the matter, especially as the part of the world I went to school in doesn't have a particularly high Muslim population. It's a pretty easy misconception to have I feel as we are so used to the names of religions and their followers sounding similar that Islam and Muslims are something of a curveball. So why do the name of the religion and the name of its followers sound so different? Perhaps we should go into a little bit more detail about what exactly Islam is. Despite being the second biggest religion on our planet, it's actually one of the newest major religions, only being about 1,400 years old, being established in the 7th century, but yeah, still pretty old. It's an Abrahamic religion, meaning it stems from the same roots as Christianity and Judaism, with key differences being their views on Jesus, God and their founders, though this video isn't meant to be a full understanding of the complexities of religion. But speaking of founders and key players, that's how so many religions are named. Christianity is named after Jesus Christ in example. With Islam, however this isn't quite the case. The name of the religion Islam comes from the Arabic word Islam which means submission. In the case of Islam it means submission to the will of God which being a wrestling fan isn't the first kind of submission that comes to mind. This name comes from the root word Aslama which means resigned, surrendered, submitted. So it's interesting that out of all things the Islam religion is named after a verb not a noun like many other religions. Though this wasn't always the case. In the past in the English language Islam has gone by other names. One of these being Muhammadism, which obviously comes from the name of the Prophet Muhammad, with the often seen ism suffix. This name fits in more with the naming conventions of other religions, but as time went on, this name fell out of use and Islam was the more accepted name. I've even read that the name Muhammadism can cause offence to some when used today. With Muhammadism as the name of the religion, its followers were Muhammadan, which was a noun for followers of Islam as well as an adjective to describe something of Islam origin. Once again, this caused offence too as the name suggested that the followers worshipped Muhammad as opposed to Allah, leading to Muslim becoming the dominant name for the followers of Islam. So what about that name, Muslim? While at first glance Islam and Muslim might seem like very different words, they have similar origins. In fact, the slim part of Muslim comes from the same root word as Islam, Aslama, with the mu part at the start being an Arabic prefix. This mu prefix in Arabic is very much like our er suffix we have in English, meaning one who, like how a ruler is one who rules. Knowing that the first half of the name Muslim means one who, and the latter half comes from the same root word of the religion Islam, which means submit, we can form the word mu Islam, which means one who submits, and over time this name of Mu Islam was contracted to just Muslim which we have today. While the names might not share the similarities of the likes of Christianity and Christian, Judaism and Jews, or Sikhism and Sikhs, they are still related closely. In fact the connection to these names I find pleasantly literal. If the name Islam means to submit to God, then it only makes sense that the followers of Islam are named the ones who submit to God, or Muslims as it were. But we are far from over, while we may have found out the answer to our initial question of why there is such a noticeable difference between the name of the Islam religion and the name of its followers, Muslims, there is still more I want to talk about. While followers of Islam are called Muslims, like many religions, Islam has split into different branches, with of course their own names. The two main branches of Islam are Sunni and Shia. This split in the religion came about in the wake of the death of the Prophet Muhammad. Some Muslims felt that Muhammad's father-in-law should succeed him and others felt that his son-in-law should. The ones who wished for his father-in-law to take over got their way and they became Sunni. Sunni Muslims, with the other group becoming the Shia Muslims. The largest branch of Islam is Sunni Islam. Sunni Muslims make up at least 85% of the world's entire Muslim population. In fact, it's such a vast amount of the Muslim world that while a Muslim might be a Sunni Muslim, just calling them a Muslim will suffice in most cases. The name Sunni comes from Sunnah, which means the traditional teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Shia Islam is of course a much smaller branch of the religion, believed to make up the other 15% of Muslims. Their name comes from the Arabic Shia which comes from Sa'a, meaning to follow. 
Finally, I want to talk about another name that I briefly mentioned at the start of this video, one that might sound like a logical fit for followers of Islam, Islamists. Islamists are a group of people who while might sound like they follow the religion of Islam, they follow something called Islamism. The best definition of what Islamism is I found in an article from Sona Kagapte, which will be linked down below. He says that Islamism can be best described as an anti-ideology, in the sense that it defines itself only in opposition to things. That is, Islam stands not for, but against. He explained how Islamism is a political ideology, that Islam and Islamism are not synonymous, despite how similar their names are. So despite how logical it would be to call a follower of Islam Islamist, the correct name for a follower of Islam is Muslim, despite how different the words may seem. Name explained depends on awesome people like yourself donating small amounts of money on a monthly basis, so a massive thank you to everyone who does so. If you love the channel, donating just $2 a month gets your name here with all these awesome people and regular patron exclusive name explained rewards. Thank you.